Boxing King Media and Association with Boxro. Adam Smith, what a lively press conference. Probably the longest press conference I've ever been at. It was lively. I thought we were going to wrap it up about three or four times, but the promoters uh, came back and uh, yeah, this is a lot to talk about. It's, uh, there's high emotions on both sides. It's a historical fight. It's a fight that we've waited to see for a decade and both have very different opinions on the build-up, the, the outcome and also the, the standing of each other, I think. So um, we had to let it rumble on. What do you think won the War of the, War of the Words? Because people make a lot out of that, don't they? I actually don't think it's important in any way two days before a fight. It was interesting that Michaela and Alicia actually were much more respectful and calm today as they have been in the build-up. They know what, what, what happens. These guys are, or these ladies are professional athletes uh, and they're at the top of their game. They're elite. So ultimately, they know that what happens now when you talk is pretty irrelevant. They want to be saving their energy and uh, and come fight night, put on their very best. So uh, I don't think the war of the words is that important uh, anymore. I mean, obviously, there's needle with both sides. I think it just matters if it goes to their heads and uh, their tactics change on the night because of it. Um, if uh, you know, if one wants to try something different because of the uh, of the needle and the uh, and the the smoke, as they're calling it, uh, or whether they just listen to their corners and they can implement the tactics that are going to win this fight or both fights. Both fights are, are up in the air, both are 50-50s and um, it's not surprising, surprising there's tension. Uh, remember they're still making weight too so um, I think once they weigh in tomorrow and they get refueled and rehydrated they know the importance of uh, Saturday night and we all do. A comment Dimitri Salitas made, he said Savannah is nowhere near the level uh, of you know, Clarissa's opponents. He's saying there's a big gap in you know, level of opponents at the foot. What do you think of that comment? It's his opinion. Uh, Clarissa Shields has uh, fought some fantastic fighters, both amateur and pro. And Savannah Marshall has too. Savannah's had a different sort of rise through it in the last couple of years. has only really come to, uh, come to her full potential as a professional. But I don't think any of this matters, ultimately. Uh, what matters is, can you conquer the style in front of you? And there's only 20 minutes, 10 two-minute rounds to do that. So the best women will win on the night. And um, anything about who they fought and who they're going to fight in the future is pretty irrelevant. It's down to who gets their tactics right on Saturday and who ultimately is, uh, is the better. A quick word, uh, news is just breaking out that the Queen is in really yeah. bad health. Could that potentially affect...? Yeah, obviously I've just been told and our, our thoughts are with uh, the royal family and um, obviously we just wait for, uh, for updates and uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's obviously the, the, the importance is the well-being of the Queen and, um, and the royals around her. So uh, yeah, that takes precedent and priority over everything else, whether it's sport or anything in this country. So. Uh, so yeah, our thoughts are with her and uh, at, a, at a worrying time. Last question, Adam. Uh, Frank Warren's given 24 hours uh, for Matchroom to get this deal closed. Is that realistic? The AJ Fury fight is, is announced earlier today that he's given AJ's team 24 hours to accept the date of December the 3rd. In your experience of boxing, is that unrealistic or what do you think is happening? Yeah, in my experience, big fights take a, a, a long time to make. However, this has all happened very quickly and it's caught everybody off guard. As I've said all along, Anthony and Tyson want to fight each other. That's not the problem. Um, there are issues to sort out, but they're talking very quickly and they're all talking. That gives me a bit of positive hope. Um, I'm not involved in the discussion, so I don't know whether it will or won't happen, but uh, as a fight fan, um, I really hope it does happen before Christmas. I think it's the Timing is everything in this sport, and um, I wouldn't want not to see Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua share a ring um, before they both call it quits. And if there's more of an opportunity now than possibly there's been in the past or maybe in the future, I'd like to see them get over the uh, final hurdles. And if it's 24 hours or it gets into next week, but it's got to be soon because if they're talking November, December, um, there's training camps and there's publicity and promotion. But uh, Stranger things have happened in boxing. It took May with the Pacquiao five, five years beyond when they should have made it, but it was made very quickly, um, eventually. So uh, maybe they can do this. Adam, thank you for your time. No problem.